The Walt Disney Imagineers, our Lightstorm Productions partners, and our operating teams have been working feverishly to get to this point of the beam signing. As this begins the vertical build of the, of the site that we call Pandora. This is the first beam, the first vertical beam that will be a part of the e-ticket with the building of the world of Avatar, Pandora. The job sort of starts at ground level and goes up. So when things start to, as we say, go vertical, that's when we really start to engage and like, wow, this is it, we're building it now. Up to date, it's been drawings, it's been concept renderings, it's about our imagination, and really to know that we're going to sign something that's going to be the cornerstone to what actually ends up becoming Pandora is really just remarkable. Yeah, because all of the effort that we put in trying to make everything credible, every element, we literally try to present everything where we believe that it exists, so to see it actually exist and be able to take people there. When you actually come out on a construction site and you actually start to see things being built, it just blows your mind. And you realize that there is no such thing as the impossible, right? And that's what we're in the business of doing, which is creating the impossible. Avatar is the most popular film of all time, so being able to tell the story of Avatar in any of our parks is exciting. Animal Kingdom is based around a certain set of values, the intrinsic value of nature, the notion of adventure and transformation, the notion of a personal call to action, and, and the Avatar movies are about the same things. Avatar starts with Jake Sully opening his eyes and it ends with him opening his eyes. And it's a, the movie is a challenge to people to open their eyes. Hopefully, coming here at Animal Kingdom and going to Pandora, people will leave with their eyes open. To be able to meet and see a full-scale, realized Navi was the ultimate goal. Um, shame and, and, uh, and the level of robotics that we've been able to put in place, it's a stunning achievement. Not only is it the scale of it's huge, but the details all the way to standing six feet away from her. Everything about that is um, it's a, it's a new journey for us. There's like 20 new things we had to develop that we haven't done before just to make this come together. There's two phases to, to sort of the reality. One is obviously the aesthetic look, but she has to live and breathe and there is somebody there, a soul there. Art always starts from where technology ends, right? When your technique is perfected, then your art form starts, right? So I think we're, we're pushing our technology to, to be vanished into the art form. What we're seeing here is, is built on a whole history of Disney animation, but we're taking it to a new level to get that high fidelity of motion. All the data that's driven through this figure was originally seeded from a performance capture, so we're not doing uh, live adjustments. I'll be very proud that I worked for the most complicated and most advanced animatronic system in Disney history. I think this will be a history like New Lincoln in our time.